Okay, now it's finally time to choose a library and write some steps. I wanna point out that before you actually create a script, you should always start with manual test scenarios. And what that means is you would have some kind of a test case management system that would hold your manual test cases, but for now I've documented them in Excel like this. So we've got product search should return relevant products. User can add product to shopping cart. User must sign in to check out. And each of these test cases has preconditions, steps, and post conditions. And by reading those steps, if you know which library you're going to use and which keywords it contains, you can oftentimes confirm that the library you've chosen has the appropriate keywords to satisfy these steps. I'm not gonna go too much into how this all works because I've got an automation best practices video that covers that, but I am gonna use this as a guide to create our test case. So like it mentions here, you should always examine your library's capabilities to understand what it can do. And the way to do that is to visit the robotframework.org website, click on test libraries, and under either standard or external, you'll find the library that you wanna use. Click on the title link for that library, locate the keyword documentation, read the basic information, and then scroll down to this keyword cloud right here, which is an alphabetical list of all the keywords that are available within the library. They're usually pretty intuitive, so you can get a sense for what they do just by reading them. And there's a grid below that has a keyword column, which arguments it takes, and then any special notes about it. So clearly we're gonna to have to open a browser. So if I look through here to O, I do in fact find open browser. And notice similarly, there's a close browser and close all browsers. So if I click on open browser, I can see that I can use the open browser keyword and it allows me to pass in a URL and which browser do I wanna to go to. And it says possible values for browser are as follows. So if I wanna open up Firefox, I can type in Firefox or FF, Internet Explorer or IE for Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, GC, Chrome for Chrome, you get the idea, you can read more about this. So what this tells me is in my script, I can say open browser, pass in the URL, and then which browser I wanna use. So let's go ahead and do that. Before I use the keyword though, up in my settings section of my script, I'm gonna to have to declare that I'm gonna use this library. So let's go ahead and add these things to our settings area. I type in documentation and you can see it's trying to auto-complete. So now I can just hit tab to auto-complete that. And notice it automatically put in two spaces after documentation. The robot framework scripting adopts the Python convention of using two spaces between various parts on your line. So I'll say documentation. This is some basic info about the whole suite. And now I'll say library, hit tab. And notice again, it gave me two spaces. I'm gonna declare that I'm gonna use the Selenium 2 library inside this script. Now down in test cases, I can start by typing my test case name. And since I'm using pre-written manual test cases for this, I use this test case title, user must sign in to check out. And when I hit return, we might also wanna add documentation and tags to this test case. And recall that those need square brackets. So the important thing to know about test cases though, is that only the test case name can start in column one here. The rest of the stuff needs to be indented by four spaces or use a tab. So I'll put in my brackets with documentation and notice it automatically gives me two spaces, which I need. Make sure you always use two spaces between things. And now I say this is some basic information about the test. And like I mentioned before, both of these lines are gonna show up in our results as you'll see in a minute. I hit return, more brackets, I'll say tags, hit tab, it gives me two spaces. I'm gonna include the smoke tag because this is a very important test to run. So now I'm ready to actually put in my lines for my script. As you recall, the Selenium 2 library had a keyword called open browser. I type that in, I use two spaces. I type in my desired URL, which we will parameterize and put in a variable later. And then two spaces again. And as you recall, I can type in either Internet Explorer or just IE to identify which browser I wanna use. And then you recall there was a close browser keyword as well. And that simply knows which browser to close because it has a handle from when it opened the browser. And that's it, we've actually created the beginnings of our first script. So I hit save and let's try to run this and see what happens.